Hello and welcome to Kellaway Park for this Western League game between Helston Athletic and Saltash United. Bragg and Wright's on offer, this is the game we have been waiting for for two years. Brought to you this evening by Piran Films. Helston make one change from Saturday's 7-1 win at Bridport, with hat-trick hero Matty Buchan missing out with a groin injury. In comes Stuart Bowker, who stepped off the bench to score on Saturday afternoon as well. Saltash, meanwhile, are unchanged from their 2-0 win over Tavistock on Saturday, with goal scorer Callum O'Brien starting, and Scott Crocker, who also netted on his debut, starting on the bench. Kai Cornish down the right. He has Harrison Jewell overlapping. Balka oh. 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 unlucky there. Competitive start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bright start, Tom. Bright start, mate, isn't it? End to end stuff, mate. <laughs> Turner picks up the ball in the middle, evades two tackles, wins the free kick. Tom Hans option short here, he pl plays it in but it's cleared first time. Saltash on the break now, Rhys Thompson. Plays it in. Fantastic, into the box, Radovanovic makes the save. So it's Jared Woods there. Great to see these two teams playing Western League football there, Tom, isn't it? and, and a, a momentous night for Elston, mate. 125 years of history and playing their first ever game at this level. Buys free kick, headed away by Sam Farron. Shot back in by number 10, Archie Ray. Here we go. Ball, ball out here, Dave Barker. Composed pass forward. Ball into the box. Oh, and Radanov oh, Radovanovic just manages to grab it there. Thought he'd lost it. Wilson picks it up. Ball in. Picked up by Cleveland. Cleveland shoots. Narrowly over the bar. But nice build-up play once again from Saltash, isn't it? Is, something's coming, isn't it? Yeah, nice little dummy from Sam Farrant there, Tom, in the build-up as well. And Cleveland's cut inside, but couldn't keep his shot on target, mate. Goodness me, they've got options there, haven't they? There's a few six-footers in there, Tom, isn't there? Goodness me, here we go. Here we go to start run. Buys ball in. Oh, little, little bit of, uh, little bit of action there. Balka brought down. Nothing doing. Header over the bar. Closest Helston have come so far, really, isn't it? Yeah, qual quality ball in, Tom, and Josh Story did really well to get in front of the defender, mate. But you know, just couldn't keep his header down, mate, could he? Saltash. Play it out. Good, good area of space in front of him now. We've got options short and long here. Just, just pushes off the challenge of Matty Boy there. Wins the free kick. Oh, it's just a bit petulant there. Just Farron with the ball in. Hands misses the header at the back there. Radovanovic comes out. Oh, he made sure that was his, didn't he? Goodness me. I think both teams are turning possession over a little bit, Tom, aren't they? No one's, no one's really got a foothold in the game yet, have they? Almost, almost did there. Story had to stay strong, hands on the ball. The ball's come loose here. Matty Bai chasing down 10, Jared Woods. He's still got his arms around him. They're still hugging and, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what, what's going on there. 
Anyway, Archie Ray in the middle of the field <laughs> plays it back to Ryan Beatty. Finds Kai Cornish in the centre circle. But Kai Cornish has lost it, and here comes Soltash again. You've got Reese Thompson in the middle there. Oh, he's played a lovely ball offside. Offside. Tom Hans in space over here. Plays it to Story. Lovely to see Josh back as well, isn't it? After all his injury uh, the troubles in, in recent years. Yeah, really unlucky, Tom. Money looked to be on the verge of a contract at Colchester, mate. Money and got that injury, so hopefully he can rebuild his career, mate. Still young enough. Hands with the ball in. Here's Bauka. Bal oh, Bauka, so unlucky. Right idea. Right idea. Right idea from Bauka in trying to play through his strike partner Turner. Soltash boot just nicks it away and now Soltash are on the attack again. Barker in acres of space down here if they can switch it, but no, he chooses to go to Farrant. Soltash keeping possession now, taking the pressure out of the game. Here comes Bauka. Forces the pass. Helston win it back. Interceptors. Archie Ray's in there. God, he's everywhere, isn't he? Kai Cornish now occupying a position in the middle of the park. He's changed from his earlier position on the wing. Ray now. Cornish in space. 25 yards out. Takes the shot. Blocked. Thought Turner could potentially run in there and maybe pick up the seconds, but Rickard knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Close the ball! Cleveland ball in. Cleared by Story. Could just get on the end of this, Turner. Balker's there too. Put Leary under pressure. Oh, Cornish in acres of space. He's calling for it if Turner can turn. Ray with the shot. Narrowly wide. Ah, good opportunity there. Just, just petered out, didn't it, rather? Just a little bit of hesitancy. Farrant. Under pressure from Bai. Bai closes, closes down. Straight into the box. Lovely little one-touch football. Woods. Comes out, oh, and a fantastic block. That was the chance we were talking about, wasn't it? Soltash with men on the edge of the penalty box here. It's in, it's deep. Headed back in. Radovanovic gets it at the second attempt. Cool, blimey. At the second attempt, Radovanovic holds it. He had Cleary and he had Barker in there for, uh, just to keep him honest. Catcher in here now, he spots Hans making a run. Can Barker get there? No, it's a lovely ball. Hans just lets it go. Cornish picks up the scraps. Here's Turner. And it's a goal! Ryan Turner opens the scoring. Thought the chance had gone, but great little play there. Yeah, a bit of hesitancy, I think, Tom, in the Salt Ash defence, mate. I think a couple of defenders stopped, and Kai Cornish did well to keep it alive, mate. Slipped in Turner, and he's finished it really well, mate. Fantastic. It looked like Hans had lost possession there. The ball, lovely little ball over from Katrin. Hans heads it back. A little bit of hesitancy from the Saltash defence. Kai Cornish launches first man on it, doesn't he? Plays in Turner. And uh, fantastic finish. Couple of steps. Sets himself. Rickard comes out. But lovely finish across him into the far corner. Yeah, took it really well, Tom. And what a time to score, mate. What a time to score. Absolutely. Team colleague Mark uh, Rapsi is uh, <laughs> back in the commentary box here. <laughs> A few familiar faces at half time. Too many. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Maybe. Cornish plays the ball in. Ray picks it up on the edge of the box here. Oh, under serious pressure, finds Bauka. Bauka, good first touch. Ball in. Whoa, across the face of goal. Nice little bit of play. It's those two men at the top again, isn't it? So Farron had lost it there, but he's taken the ball, won the free kick, taken a quick free kick, giving it to Lewis. Lewis's ball forward. Uh, BT a judge to have brought down uh, 19 Cleveland there. Jared Woods places the ball down. There's a two-man Helston wall. That's Soltash United gaggle of bodies there. Ball comes in. Bit long. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's a fantastic header. Fantastic header. Woods' is free kick evades everyone. I think the defence thought it was going out. But there's O'Brien to head in. Back across goal and pass Radovanovic for 1-1. Uh, one, one. Yeah, quality ball in, Tom. Um, evaded everyone, really, mate, didn't it? So that far post and when it reached Callum O'Brien, mate, he's one of them goal-scoring centre-halves, mate. And you know, he sort of fancied him to get a header on target. But great header back across uh, Radovanovic, mate. Radovanovic on it and, and into the net. One all, mate. Makes it really interesting. His Ray. Great strike from distance, just wide of the post. Saltash opting for a different approach to this set piece. Ball comes oh, in. Yeah. It's bobbling around in the middle. Massive shouts for handball. Referee's not giving anything. Lino neither. 
Balkers here. Oh, he's won the free kick. Matty by free kick here. Jewel. Plays it short to Jewel. Jewel's ball into the box. Down by Katrin. Story was there, but Rickard, Rickard gathers up. There's a bit of afters between the two of them. Here's Katrin. Plays it out wide to Turner. Turner in turn finds Balker back it into his man. Acres of space. Yeah, could have been could have been a penalty there. Balker was Balker was backing into his man, picking up the space there, making the yards. He goes down, no free kick. Lovely little bit of play there from Soltash on the right hand side. Ball into the box. Skip one challenge, skips another. Comes out to Woods. Blocked by Jewel. Woods back in. It's come out to Barker here. And hands just did enough to put him off and the ball's back with Radovanovic. Matty Bai playing the captain's role there. Telling his goalkeeper to take his time, settle down on it. Balka comes forward. Leary is able to clear. Lovely bit of lovely touch. Fantastic from Cleveland there. He's still got it. He's past BT. He's got Story for company now. Story runs in. Takes the ball. He stays down after the challenge. Will Sotash play it out? No, the referee doesn't give him the opportunity to though. He's stopped play himself. That was a 50-50, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, fair challenge, Tom. Both both lads went in, you know, didn't leave anything. Both went in hard, mate. And unfortunately, Josh's story's been on the way. He's had enough bad luck with injury, Tom, hasn't he? So I just hope he's all right, mate. But there was just a stray boot or a stray elbow or something. He's holding his head. It's been a couple of minutes now. Specialists here, see what... Uh, tricks they've got. It's gonna be a shot. Tucker's going to shoot. Oh no, Tucker's played it short to Bai. Bai's cross in. Oh, a lovely bit of inventive yeah. play by Elston. The one out the Pandora's box there, yeah. but uh, it hasn't quite come off on that occasion, but Soltash weren't ready for it, and neither were we. No. Soltash United keeping two men up. The rest in the box. No one wants to lose at this time. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. It's that Farrant there twice. Ball drops loose, could be a penalty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, already offside, I think, Tom. Just, just got the other side, wrong side of the defender. Absolutely. Here's Cornish. He finds Penn Hallerick. Option to his left in, in Tucker. Tucker at the edge of the box. Little step over. Plays it back into Cornish. Cornish, one touch, two touch. Shoots, blocked. And offside. Fantastic save it was. Fantastic save it was. Turner there with the overhead kick. A lovely bit of invention there. Great skills, great skills Tom, from Kai Cornish. Wasn't it worked himself uh, opening centre. A couple of defenders for a lollipop, mate, didn't he? But, uh, but yeah, great block from the, from the last defender, mate. Lots of Helston pressure in this uh, final, final st stage of the game. Cornish again there amongst it. Bye. Bai just seems to have an engine. Yeah, uh, nev really never runs out. No, no, that's right, Tom. Totally agree. Really busy player, mate. Isn't he? Never run seems to run out of energy. Seems to be everywhere, doesn't he? Ball in. Crocker, unlucky there. Just caught it napping a little bit. Yeah. I don't think he expected it to come to him, did he, Tom? Uh, it went through so many bodies, yeah. didn't they? It came out to him on the edge of the box, and he was just caught his toes a little bit, the youngster. That's a strong challenge by Tonkin. Tonkin brings the ball forward. No free kick. Woods closes him down, but he does very well. Finds Ray. Options here to his left. You've got Penhalleric. You've got Tucker. Tucker picks it up. No, oh, it did look like a foul to me. It didn't look like a foul to me. It looked like he tripped up. And he's straight back to his feet there. Crocker now. He swapped wings. Plays a lovely through ball for Thompson. Radovanovic just gets there before him. Whoa, that was heart in mouths, wasn't it? He's short, mate, and he's a short keeper. He's a good. Uh, he's, uh, he's off his line. Good positioning, mate, and he rather than it. It's good. Uh, good acquisition from Mass, mate. Isn't he? Looks it. Western League experience as well. Obviously, higher level experience with Taunton too. Cornish tries to win the ball, but is muscled out by O'Brien, who finds Lewis coming down this left-hand side for Saltash United. By gets himself stuck in. Oh, there's a few hands and a few. Uh, 
Bit of controversy there, but uh, Soltash have played on. Jules there again. Jules there to clear. There's a bit of handbags there. A fantastic ball forward. Tucker looks like he always oh, pushed off the defender as well. Oh no, it's, he's given it as a free kick. That looked a soft one to me. Looked a soft one to me. The tension just boiling over a little bit now. Matty Boy and uh, Danny Lewis there had a bit of handbags here on this near side. Play went on. A uh, bit of head tennis in the centre of the field. Soltash going the wrong way. Plays it forward to Crocker. Full of pace, full of energy, but he just had a bit of a loose touch this afternoon. It'll come, I'm sure. Oh, that's full time. There we go, and that's it. Not much, uh, not much between the two teams. The game finishes 1-1. We had a goal at the very end of the first half. With Ryan Turner collecting the ball and beating the outstretched Soltash United goalkeeper Ryan Rickard, who came down and tried to make it awkward for the striker, but Turner was there to uh, slot home to open the scoring and send Helston in a goal to the good. Second half wasn't very old when Saltash United drew level, were they? Callum O'Brien heading in at the back post from a free kick. And one all is how it stayed. Plenty of chances for both sides. Nothing sort of no guilt edge chances other than the goals, really. And uh, one all is how it ends in this uh, grudge match. So we're still no closer to seeing who has the supremacy, <laughs> are we? Um, yeah, no, I to totally agree, Tom. Two, two really good teams, mate. Two teams that I think will have excellent seasons, mate, in this Western League. And, uh, and you know, congrats to both. And, I, you know, I've, I think as the game wore on, Tom, I think it would have been a bit unjust if someone did get a winner. So I'm glad both teams are still come out of it with a point each, mate. And they're both unbeaten, aren't they? So plenty of confidence to go forward. Full-blooded affair here at Kellaway Park ends 1-1. Helston Athletic 1, Saltash United 1. Both teams move on. Both teams still unbeaten in the Western League as well. And uh, move on to Saturday's games. Um, full of confidence, still unbeaten. And raring to go, no doubt.